Hey everybody, it's Professor Powerline, welcome back to more Let's Play Mega Man Legends. In the last episode, we battled for City Hall. Click the annotation in the bottom left to see the full video. In this episode, I'm going to give you a quick tutorial on the uh, support car, which is where we are now, and then we're going off to face more pirates. So, um, I skipped through all this dialogue, and you might have paused and read it on the last episode, but if you talk to Roll, we have a few options. We can talk. Um, this is useful if you have something to give her or some special dialogue, but it's not relevant for any parts of the storyline whatsoever. Then we have special weapons. If we click here, we have the chance to change or enhance. Let's go to change real quick. Our only current weapon is the splash mine. There you can see its stats. Um, and if we scroll down, we have normal arm. You can see its stats. And... Splash mines again. So you can see there's quite a few special weapons that we have to get, none of which we actually have. Um, the weird thing about these stats, though, is I don't think they're quite proportional for um, each weapon. I think, like, that much attack on another weapon might mean a little bit more. I think it's pretty close for the most part, but, yeah. Anyway, let's go to Enhance Weapon. Here, Roll can have you pay money to enhance your weapons. Um, gonna do attack, range, range doesn't uh, increase at all. Um... Actually, let's go through all these real quick. Attack, no duh, the damage you do. Energy, how many times you can use it. Range, how far it goes, doi, how doi. Special, special is different for every weapon. It, um, it's, for some weapons it's like how many times, or how well it heat seeks, or for another weapon it's how big the blast radius is. It's different for every weapon, so special. I think there'll usually be a little tutorial on it anyway. But, yeah, we can uh, have this upgrade a little bit. I'm going to upgrade the attack once. I think I'm going to upgrade the weapons as much as I can. I don't know if we'll get them all maxed out by the end of the series, because that takes a ton of money, and this game is not as generous on money as some games are, so... And with that, let's go to the final, or uh, to another thing here. Item development. You know those free items we've been getting, like broken motor or broken cleaner laying around? Click item development. Yeah, we didn't make anything. If you have parts that go together to make a new special weapon, you click item development, she'll make something for you. If not, you get that little spring noise and nothing happens. So, yep. Finally, we can click support car, and we can move around. You can only move around to places you've been, though. Okay, so that's great. Also, you can call roll to those areas with the walkie-talkie we got in the last episode. So, having done all that two-minute tutorial, let's go. And real quick, I want to go to my... Uh, special items and you can see the walkie-talkie right there also we got these key um... these key, this key uh... the thing about this key is they don't make this abundantly clear but this actually unlocks a ruin not a the doors of city hall like they kind of make it indicate. they never really clear that up but whatever anyway with that let's go now the cops at the mar wolf was digging up the northern forest so let's go take a look at that shall we just know I'm biting off more than I can chew for one episode. Hey, here comes somebody else. Oh crap, you're out gun. Police <laughs> officer. Hey, it's that blue guy again. We'll show him just like we showed that officer. We ain't gonna lose this time. It's because of different voices, I swear. Holy crap, they killed the police. Now these tanks are actually no joke. If you don't have the running thing down, these things can do some serious damage to you. Like, no joke. It's really easier just to walk past them than it is to um, actually fight them, but oh, it does some damage. Cool. Um, and I'm not going to spend too long fighting them. Ha <laughs> Man, that's fun. Anyway, they're, they're pretty dangerous, actually, believe it or not. Um, but you really just want to ignore them, because they're not going to stay there long term. Holy crap. Uh, so, I, yeah, I just, I just bypass them. There's no real reason not to. I mean, they don't drop enough Zenny to really make it worthwhile. Who's in here? Okay. Controls in this game. Right, here we go. They're not bad, like I'm kind of making them out to be, but... Oh, look, the inspector! Yeah, good, so you hit in a little house. Great. Oh, good, you saved the women and children. Okay, um... I think this guy's actually a salesman. Let's take a look. Um... Nope, okay, I could have there's a storekeeper in here, but there's not, I guess. Alright, moving right along. So, um, that's a broken police car right there. These, uh, oh, there's some turrets there too, which I don't have, just barely have the range to hit. Those things are really annoying because we can't get up there to do anything about them. Uh, there is a way if we get to the right part, though, so let's just look around for that real quick. Here it is, I think this hill, if we jump from it, I think we can, yeah, there we go, we got up there. Yeah, run, run, run. 
jump. Okay. No, no, no. There's something up here that I really, really want. Check the box. Please check the box. Charge goes right at the inside. Fortune, I'm invincible. Nope. Okay. Oh boy. Oh boy. Let's check in here. Garbage box or anything inside. You found it. Safety helmet. We can have Roll make that into a uh, helmet for Megamo, which is just kind of a lifesaver, so yeah. I'm gonna go in here and see if there's anything worthwhile in here. Here might be where that storekeeper Yeah, this is where the storekeeper is. Alright, I don't care. Alright, now I know I've been kind of hard on my money lately, but I think I'm going to buy a soda because I kind of would like full health for whatever's coming, so let's use this vending machine here. Glug, glug, glug. Oof. Oh, wait, nah, jump the gun. You feel refreshed! Fist bomb, fist bomb, booyah, I'm unstoppable! <laughs> okay, not that unstoppable. Anyway, let's just keep exploring a little bit more. You suck. I really like the way the machine gun uh, bullets look in this game. They just look really awesome. That's always something I've really loved about this gun game. Which reminds me, something. I think I figured out what energy is. I think energy is how long you can shoot before um, your Mega Man has to like, stop and... Uh, yeah, how many times you can shoot before he has to uh, reload, if you will. Uh, so I think that's what energy is, but, you know, I can't really... Still not entirely certain. Oh, look, an empty decrepit house. Sweet. This is relevant later, but for now it's... Or for a side quest, anyway, but for now it's nothing. Uh, let's go. Oh, another garbage trail. Just check that. I'm not going to get to that marble fight, am I? Oh, hey! 200 zenny. Nice. Totally worth stopping for. Alright. Those garbage trails, by the way, they refill after a while, or they occasionally, um... Or not, they have items in them as random, so just keep checking them. I really like the way these tanks look. They're not really impractical soda cans like their last ones were. Oh, another one. Nope, 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 nope. Yeah, if you got the side run, these things are just a joke. Alright, they just, like, can't do anything to you at all. But if you don't, and it's reasonable for you not to have the side run figured out, they're going to destroy you. <laughs> they just do so much damage. And they can get you caught in their machine gun animation, so we really need to be careful. Should I actually kill one of these for once? Maybe I get some health out of it. I love how I keep running back into the turret's range. It's a pretty great strategy. Oh, nice. Big groupie there. Ooh, is that random health? How did that get all the way over here? Oh, no, it's a flower. Hey, that might actually be cool for a quest later. Let's grab that. If you ever see these things that stick out of the landscape, be sure to grab them. You never know when you're going to need them. And you can usually, like, give them a roll or something. It doesn't do anything, but you get to some dialogue. But it's always worth the trouble. Or, I guess not really, but... Uh, some items spawn random, and they're occasionally really, really, really hard to find. Like, uh, there's always one quest where I have to find a beetle, I think. And, like, the beetle just will not seem to spawn in the world whatsoever. And there's uh, another ruin there. We'll check that out later. And for now, I made a giant circle to nowhere land. Alright, sweet. Let's... Try different direction. Aren't I a great let's player getting you guys lost and just ranting like an imbecile? Data! We're gonna go kill one more tank and then we're gonna call an episode. Yeah, I know this episode was really short and nothing really got accomplished, but. Well, I guess we, uh. Well, actually, if Data's here. Ha! Oh, that was anticlimactic. I guess that power upgrade really did its thing. Uh, let's go see if we can kill one more, because, you know. He ran out of bounds! No fair! I wanted to kill him! <sighs> Die. Well, this does so much damage here, man. Holy crap. Come on. Die, you stupid dude. Okay, or me. That's cool, too. There we go. Oh, he ran back in the mountains. Die, die, die. Die, die, child. Die, child. <laughs> I'm such a terrible person. There we go. Yeah, that's right. That's better. All right, now I hate to say it, but we did virtually nothing but tutorials and fight some tanks in this episode. But you know what? I still think it was kind of worth it. So with that, next time on Let's Play Mega Man Legends, we're going to be facing, like, the third boss fight here. Like, seriously. They've made us fight so many bosses in so short amount of time. At least you can't say the tutorial went on forever in this game. Really. I mean, when I said it picked up, it picked up. Anyway, having screwed up my outro significantly, I'll see y'all next time.